Afternoon sports fans, uh, it is um, 18 weeks post-op, uh, which is 126 days, uh, actually to be honest it's a Monday so it's 128 days but 18 weeks sounds a little bit, ah, by the way, look, it's me, <laughs> you believe just in case you thought some good looking, sophisticated and intelligent bloke had taken over the block. Me and these wonderful glasses. Um, quite a bit has um, has come on since the the, the last uh, last instalment. Um, oh, I think that admittedly was oh, maybe three four weeks ago something like that. Um, first one got the bins. Uh, these are a neutral lens. Um, uh, although on the right they have a prism which twists. Uh, twist the view of things. What they had found. Um, this is this is when I went to the hospital for me um, for me check up after going to spec savers first. They were a they were a disaster first of all. Garbage. First bloke who I think was leaving in a couple of weeks or whatever. Totally disinterested and unmotivated. Went through his sequence of stuff and uh, gave me near and far glasses. Um, both of which I couldn't see diddly shit out of. Um, and add prisms uh, lifting up and um, horizontal as well. Like, and you know, uh, put them on and just didn't get any um, bonus out of them at all. Um, I did have a return there where I um, did get something, uh, so I now have a pair of uh, glasses for using the computer, which are good um, with no prism in except I took them with me to the, the hospital appointment and they have a film that they that they put over um uh, i wonder if i can if I, yeah you can just sort of see the lines in the in the lens there <laughs> and poke yourself up the nose with the arm um yeah right so where, where have we gone um still have uh, a little bit of ataxia left over uh single leg standing is um a lot better um i mean i have a, a test of that every day when putting on either me uh, me bills or me socks i try to stand on one leg and do it there so constant both assessment and training on the uh single leg standing uh, i'm better on my left than i am on my right um Although on the right, you know, I don't know, um, maybe two mornings out of three. Actually, there's no rhyme or reason to it. Um, sometimes successful and stable. Uh, other times, you know, I finish the job but fall over, uh, or rather have to go on the, the other leg. <coughs> Turkish get ups are with um, the 16 kilo. Um, and, <laughs> excuse me one second. <coughs> <coughs> Um, the vocal cord deficit is still there. Can't protect my airway as well, so I can get the cough and fit still. Um, yeah, take a scale up um, to to the average observer. Uh, they look uh, exemplary. Uh, however, um, you know, I, I, just, I don't. There's a no, number of points where I don't get the perfect glide going. Um, uh, going into the split stance position. Um, from the high hip, um, I, I'm I'm not totally comfortable. I, I make a graceful transition, but it's wobbly in my head. Um, going from the split stance to the stand is is usually pretty good, although I'm aware of you know uh, an anticipated lack of control, even if I, I pull it off, which is most times I'm pulling off gracefully. Uh, the big one still is going into the rear rear lunge. Uh, sometimes pull it off perfectly. Sometimes, you know, I even have to come out and have another go. But for the most part, it's a clean lunge back. Uh, just open to question about whether I can maintain it with the knee off the ground first after the first step. Um, I've been doing body weight lunges, um, both into a rear lunge, then a straight through into a front, and then back to standing, which seems to have helped. Um, basically, just gone into the the the. The daily ten, um, which for those who don't know, were a, a sweet exercise, uh, a military selection uh, course, 
uh, to Im improve mobility and authentic movement in recruits who were otherwise failing at an alarming rate. Uh, not for want to try and no heart and lungs. But anyway, that's a different story entirely. Um, well, what other exercises are, are pertinent? Um, deadlifting 100 kilos, clean as a whistle. Um, you know, two sets, uh, three or five reps um, is it, fine. Front squatting, um, 60 kilos, technique, bang on. Uh, full depth, um, you know, two sets of three or five again. Um, Cowbell swings. Uh, they they've been good for a while, but um, the the snatch on the left because the the left shoulder stabilisation had previously been, um, I suppose my biggest physical compromise. Uh, that's improved markedly. Uh, I'm doing the snatch. I'm feeling clean and stable. Uh, with twelve kilos, um, the the right arm could manage sixteen or twenty. I would suspect without too much hassle. Um. I reckon I could probably do 16 with me left. I might try that next session. Uh, biggest improvement there has been on the monkey bars, uh, where um, probably about four days ago I had my first full successful traverse of the monkey bars in the gym. Uh, it's quite challenging, as most in the gym uh, wouldn't be able to do it. Um, you have to jump to catch the first one, um, and then the, the next bar is raised. Uh, next bar is level. Next bar is significantly raised. Um, four level, then you come down. Um, but just basically do the reverse of when you went up, down to two, and then down to the last. Uh, the shoulder stabilisation has had a massive improvement following a visit to the legend that is uh, Paddy Phillips. Uh, obviously the. Um, the, the the usual 1500 mile service like you know with the uh, cracking the, the thoracic and particularly the uh, cervical um but he introduced a drill to me uh with a resistance band um basically holding the uh, the band in both hands but with it behind my shoulders um one uh, left left leg if i'm training the left uh, left side slightly forward um and then moving the hand along the centre line, um, so it's against my body, elbow tight, uh, palm facing upwards, then moving out as if to push. Um, Different sitting down. So start in this position here, with the band of course held, and then going out. It's a, it's a drill which is very similar to, uh, I think he called it the Sanchen, for those uh, karate dudes out there. Um, and sort of punching down the centre line, but I'm holding, sucking the shoulder into the air, uh, the scapula, and sucking, sucking the air, uh, the scapula, in onto the rib cage as well. And I'm doing that. That had an immediate effect from what I was in there. With, uh, Straight away, my um, scapular control massively improved. That's that's had a knock-on effect, or it it had a knock-on effect when it was detrimental, and there's uh, the inverse has been true with, um, with with the benefit. In so much of if I was to, to touch my nose and then go to a point, um, you know, and, and touch a point on on a screen or something like that, I would I would get the wobbles just before I. I come in, you know, and look like a proper stroke victim. Like, um, however, immediately after doing that, the uh, stabilisation has improved at the shoulder. Everything else cleaned up straight away, uh, which you know, there's, there's one I'm no denying that. So introducing that into the training has had a big improvement on the shoulder stabilisation. That's then had uh, a big improvement of. Uh, well, the, the thing is, you pick anything up with your hands, you've got to control it at your shoulder. So, you know, with the, the, the knock on effect, good, good and bad, is significant. Um, I had a blinding session in the gym today. It really did feel like there was, um, you know, a market change, like something had clicked. Um, there was efficacy within, within the movements, it would, uh, an awareness through each movement and a control during the movement as opposed to, 
you know, just a, um, you, you know, a, a, a jerk from position A to the position B. It, it was controlled, it was smooth, and it, it felt strong within the movement. So, um, real good, real good line on the sand as far as the top he's got. Um, 18 weeks, what's that? And that, that's that's just over, um, that's a ballpark, four months in it. Um, so, as well, there should be <laughs> an improvement. Um, they, they'd spoken about six weeks as long, six months as being um, you know, the marker of, of, of their recovery, uh, of you know, uh, of you being back to normalish. Um, I'm not sure what that means when, when a doctor sort of says that to you. Um, it, you know, it, it, it can't mean to, to most people um, you be you know as, as good as you were before you started. Because if you're training beforehand and then you have 16, sorry, six months of mitigated training, uh, how are you going to be as good? Um, you know, I, I think it just means you know loss of um, sort of regaining the the sort of in, you know uh, the brain deficits or regaining the ones which you are going to going to regain. Um, I very much don't think it's fixed in stone or set in stone. Rather, um, I think all these things with the brain, uh, you can you can find a way around. Um, I mean, for instance, the the climbing I was doing. Um, just short of ten weeks, um, you know, was remarked upon as being two to four months ahead of schedule. Um, but you know, I was I was doing that whilst that I was still aware of of, of disabilities as well. Like so, um, I, I think it's just a general marker that, that says if you you know if you lead the usual sedentary life, that's when things will have healed as good as they're going to heal. Uh, which is usually to the there or thereabouts to the usual standard of those who um, who live the standard sedentary life. Not I. Uh, all right, all. Um, I'll see you again with some hopefully uh, more improvement. Ta-da.